Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. What I want to show you in this module is how you can insert symbols with the keyboard and also how you can create text with subscript and superscript. So first of all, when you type a date, for example the 23rd RD and press enter, it automatically puts that to what's called superscript. Now that doesn't do that in Excel, but it does it automatically in calc now if i want to put 23 degrees if i type 23 i don't want 23rd again so if i type 23 i need to insert a symbol so if i go insert symbol you get these favorites now i've already saved it as a favorite but normally you'd go into more characters and then you would look for it in this list for for symbols so you just scroll down or scroll up until you found the symbol that you want so I will click on this one for now and then insert and then it puts it in there for you. Now if I wanted to use microns, if I could go two microns, two and then insert symbol again for a micron symbol. And again I've got that saved in my favourites so I can click on that and then I've got the micron symbol. Now if I do that again without using insert symbol let's see if I can do that with the keyboard so 23 so I want degrees I'm holding my alt key down and on my keyboard I have a full number pad and that's what you need I'm, I'm using 0 1 7 6 and when I let go that is the keyboard number for that symbol which in this case was the degree sign now the the micron sign if I go back into insert symbol and show you where that is so I need to come into this bit so there's what I've just used and you can see there it's got the code for it and it hasn't got the zero in front of it but you do need to do the zero first and you do need to use your number pad so the micron symbol is 181 so if I cancel this off and now I do two hold my alt key down 0181 it will put in the micron symbol for me so if you're constantly going insert symbol it's well worth your time finding out what the actual code is and then you can use your alt key and the number pad now I also want to look at how to use subscript because that automatically put RD to the top because it recognized that as a date but if I do a chemical formula, for example, H2SO4, which I often ask my class, would you drink that? Some of them say yes, uh, they'd be sad teddy bears because that's sulfuric acid. But for chemical formulas, the two and the four, the two and the four need to be what's called subscript. So I've highlighted the two, and this is the options I've got here, look. Subscript, and I want the four to be the same subscript and then tick that and it's just the two and the four that's come down so that now that looks like a chemical formula now if you want something to be superscript then you have to do the same sort of thing when highlight whatever you want to be superscript so let's say you want to have 24 squared so i want to highlight the two and go superscript and then it's got 24 with a two at the top of it there are probably symbols in the symbol insert symbol area that would look better than that but that's basically just a quick example of what superscript looks like when it hasn't automatically done it as it did there so that's just a very quick video is how to use the keyboard to get symbols from the insert symbol feature hopefully that was of use thank you for your time and i'll catch you in the next one